Hi, and welcome to another session of Rambling Rose. My name is Dee May Series, and I'm one of the Becker County Master Gardeners. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of a plant name. You might not think it's very important to know exactly what kind of plant you have, but think about this. If you're doing family tree research and you start trying to look for your Uncle Jack or your Aunt Mick, it's pretty hard to get anything done. You really need to know people's legal names and you really need to know your plant's official name if, things, if you need to do some more research about it. For example, people use the common name of a plant and you might find it, it stands for more than one plant. For example, bachelor buttons. One of these is an annual and one of these is a perennial. They're two completely different plants. You might also find that it leads to an incorrect assumption about a plant if you use its common name. For example, mountain ash is not an ash at all. Quite simply, the use of official names cuts down on confusion and helps when diagnosing plant problems. Master gardeners are trained to use Latin names whenever possible so that we don't get confused. The main reason for this is that most um, diseases or pests are host specific. That means they only have a certain range of plants that they bother. So knowing what your actual plant is can be very important. <clears throat> In the earlier example about mountain ash not really being an ash, we can be pretty sure that if you have a mountain ash that the emerald ash borer is not attacking your mountain ash because they only are known to attack true ash trees. Uh, a word about Latin names. The Latin way of organizing things includes, you probably remember this from science if you weren't sleeping, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species, and cultivar. Now if those are over your head, what you need to remember mostly is Latin names are generally the genus or the generic name and the species or the specific one in that genus. So for example, um, if you think of the genus as the generic name like beans maybe, then the species or the specific name might be like green beans versus wax beans or runner beans. And usually knowing this genus and the species is enough. Sometimes it's even important to know what family your plant belongs to. For example, if you have a disease in your garden that attacks the nightshade family, it might be important for you to know that tomatoes as well as peppers potatoes and eggplant are all in that family and you don't really want to plant anything in that family in that spot next year. In the real world, when you have a plant question or a problem and you come to us as Master Gardeners, the first thing we're likely to do is ask more questions. This is especially true if you don't know your plant's official name. We might ask you about the plant's roots, the leaf shape, the size, the number, how they're attached, we might ask you about flowers, how they're attached, color, shape, the size of the plant, the age of the plant. We might even ask you to bring in a sample so that we can properly identify your plant because really you have to identify a plant before you know what the problem is. So here's an example for you. If you come into the Master Gardener Plant and Pest Clinic and you have an evergreen tree in your yard that's looking sad, you might come in and you say, I think something's wrong with my pine tree. The master gardener on duty will a likely ask you if you know what kind of pine it is, whether it's a white pine, a red pine, or a jack pine, and ask you to describe the problem. If that master gardener trusts you and thinks it is a pine, they'll start looking at pine problems. However, if in your conversation all of a sudden the master gardener realizes it's not a pine tree at all, that completely changes the, the pests or the problems that we're looking for. So knowing it's a plant's official name is really important. And if you are, even if you're familiar with it, it's, it's okay to use its nickname. But when you come in, if you need further help, we really need to know what the plant is. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in.